Hey guys, I have been super, super anxious to share this video with you. This is the last open water trip aboard my boat of 2019. I was out on the Bay of Quinte trolling for walleye with my partner Eric and our friend Dan. What you're going to see in this video is an awesome day of walleye fishing. This is one of the best days that I've ever had. So as I mentioned, we were out trolling, we're using planer boards, we're running a variety of different crankbaits, we're using line counter reels, and we're running our baits from about 15 down to 30 feet of water. And we know our running depth because of using the line counter reels paired with the precision trolling app. So this allows us to you know, set our lures at the depth that we want to run them at. And also um, when you know, we start catching fish, it allows us to repeat that information and uh, potentially catch more fish by repeating our pattern. Please, please, you'll have to bear with me a little bit here. So um, it was minus 12 degrees Celsius when we were out on the water on this day. And as I'm sure you can imagine, camera batteries do not like the cold. So for a little while, um, there, I'm down to just one camera angle, which is the stationary camera at the front of the boat. Normally I like to switch it up and have two cameras and help to narrate this story. So there's a little bit where you're just gonna have to watch us fish with just the one camera, but I promise you it does get better. So just bear with me. You're going to notice that we often put fish in the live well. And the reason for this is just keeping the fish wet as opposed to letting them flop around on the deck of the boat. If we want to take pictures or video of the larger fish, we're going to put them in the live well first. You're also going to notice that we're using a release device called the sequelizer. And uh, if you watch the whole video, you'll see that we're going to explain exactly what that is. Alrighty, without further ado, here we go. <laughs> Awesome! 
Dan, you're up. What about you're up, Eric? Yeah, really we're that rolling. is so cool. That's a, that might be a male. There. No, there's oh, two. Oh, there's two. There's two. That's why I was Here. freaking out. <laughs> wow. That's wild. Okay, I'm gonna put him in the well for a second to sequelize him. Okay. So this is pretty crazy. This is almost as fresh as it comes besides still being alive. But uh, these walleye are cruising around and eat, feeding on suspended bait, and this is what they're feeding on here. Um, so when I saw this fish coming in with two tails poking out of its mouth, I was pretty excited. Okay, so this is fish number eight, six. I have three, this is my third, you have three, he has two. So this is fish number eight. It's giving me a good fight. I have 45 feet to go. Feeling some good head shakes. I have not seen it yet. I'm getting closer now, I'm at 30, 20, five. Eric's going for the net. Oh, hey. I see it, I see it. Looking good. 
Looking real good. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Another nice one. Check that. Oh man, what a great day. This is awesome. A great two hours? <laughs> yeah, it's only 9.44. Okay, I'm just finding the sling. Much better for sorry, wing sorry. fish this way. Here, can I grab me the steel? Oh, ten eight. Eight ounces. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna send them back. I'll go. I'm gonna go that side. Sure. Go this side. Just torpedo head first. Awesome. Oh, my hands. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't stick. <laughs> hey guys, I didn't really get to do a proper intro this morning. So today's kind of a bittersweet day. It is the last open water boat trip of 2019. And it is also the very last trip out in my Alimacraft Yamaha T-Pro because my boat is going up for sale at the end of the season. So we're out here today making the most of it. Uh, what's the weather guys? Like minus 12 when we started this morning. The sun's out so it's feeling a bit warmer and uh, we're having a great day out here. Um, so Eric is out with me and also we've got Dan. Try to get you in there. Hello. <laughs> Dan um, from Live to Fish. So we're spending our last open water day out here with Dan and uh, hopefully the bite will continue. It's been an awesome day so far. <laughs> I'm like, it feels kind of funny. So I was here in the line and I got fish on it. Oh wow, it's a whole pack. Those are good eats actually. Those are first. They're really good eats. Oh, wow. Woo! Way fast selfie. Yeah, first one. <laughs> it's a nice one. They're such beautiful fish. You, uh... Here, can you prop it up? There. Awesome. It's a little cold out here today. Board's freezing up, but we're staying warm. What have you got, Eric? Little walleye. Very nice. Dan's going to keep that guy? Yep. All right. Okay. Got to be careful up here today. We've got a lot of ice on deck. And the snap's frozen. But worth it. We're up to nine fish now. There we go. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Fish on that rod, eh? Look at the belly! 
<laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Look at this big hug. Wow. <laughs> this is why we're out here in this insane cold weather. For gals like this. Okay, you guys probably seen in previous videos, I like to use a sling to weigh these walleye. Um, out here on the Bay of Quinte, as you've seen with some of our fish today, <laughs> they're very girthy. So uh, we like to weigh them if we think they might be over 10 pounds. And uh, the sling's nice because it keeps the fish horizontal and you're not putting stress by hanging the fish down. So we wet it. There. Grab one side of it. Grab one side of it. There. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Eleven six. Eleven six. Eleven four. Eleven four. Fish on the inside. Beautiful. Ooh, inside flag just dropped. Whoa. Okay. So I'm gonna release this beautiful fish. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe out. Uh, our fourth over ten today. Yep. Our fourth fish over ten today. It's gorgeous. All right, torpedo time. There she goes. Kicking. Down she goes. <laughs> Another use for the planer cord. <laughs> inside. That's about, that's about as much as we'll So is Dan going to regret switching rods here? Dan, what's going on? Uh, I got a fish that I'm having a hard time moving. <laughs> we are hoping that that means it's a big one. Yeah, we're hoping. What are you at? Uh, 122. <laughs> is this the... No, there's a snap on this still. Yes, there is. Yeah, at 50 feet. She's got one hook in her. Water! <laughs> Woo! Wow! That was scary. She went right by the motor. Uh, that's another double Ooh. digit. Beautiful! Another on the purple husky. That's a teener. That is a teener. You the well. Pop her in there. We'll have to turn it on. Yep. Turn up the wall. What a thick fish. Okay, what are we at, boys? Oh my. 12. Wow. 12, and it's not even his biggest of today. Nope. That's 12. Nice. Okay, here we go. Big old 12 right. pounder. Beautiful. Yeah, she goes. Hey. What's going on, Eric? Oh, hooked up again. Fish number what? 14. 
Is it? 14. Okay. 14 well, for 15. I lost count a little. I know. It's, it's hard, a... hard to keep count on a day like today. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in the way. Husky 14, glass minnow. Big surprise. Very nice. Send him back. This side? Can you go my side? Yeah. There you go. Yep. Feels like good fish too. Mine feels pretty good also. We'll see. Yeah. Nice. See him yet? Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. Another good one. Multiple hooks, right? Uh, one. One. <laughs> of it looks decently hooked though. There you go. Six, yeah! Wow! Oh, oh. Yeah! That That's is a good another fish. good one. <laughs> nice one. Thanks, Eric. Assisting with the double. That is fat. Yeah. Ready to go back. This is the first fish of the double header. Oh, sorry. Okay, what do we have here? Wow, it's bigger. 13? No, just 12. under. 12, 14. Wow. Lower it a bit. Beautiful. Uh, so we just picked up this really super handy tool for uh, fish that have come out of, uh, you know, uh, deeper water, so we, we target the fish in the upper parts of this water column, but sometimes it will come up and, and crush a bait from, you know, 50, 60 feet down, rush up 20 feet to hit the baits, and uh, sometimes they do show uh, signs of a little bit of barotrauma. And in this case here, this fish is showing a bit of barotrauma. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of rolled over in the live well, but it's, it's got tons of life left in her. Uh, so we're just going to clip her and uh, it's going to help her get back down to that depth where she's most comfortable. It's uh, basically activated by the water pressure. Uh, so we just clip this to an anchor line. This clips onto the jaws of the fish and once it gets down to the right depth, just the water pressure itself triggers it and it opens the jaws up so that fish is able to swim off. It's a lot safer than just torpedoing the fish because if that fish were to not kick off, Need to turn back around and you're stepping on the rope. Oops. Okay, so there we go. What do you got going on? Oh, I got something very big that I can't really move at the moment. That's what I like to hear. She's got kind of the board kind of pulled back and yeah. That's what I've been waiting for all day here. We've been hogging them. I know. We've been hogging the hogs. <laughs> Six fish over 10 pounds and none of them to my name. <laughs> Is it digging? It's digging like a biggin. Ah! ah! I wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> my DD. Is it? So. <gasps> oh! Yeah, it is! <laughs> oh! Hey <laughs> That's a good one. Another husky eating freak. Beautiful. The sling is a little frozen like many things today. But I would it. Get it hog ready. Sorry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do we have? Twelve seven. Good God. 
12-7. Biggest fish of the year on my last trip of the year. Quite fitting. So Your biggest, right? My biggest, yeah. Yes. At 12-7. So right. number seven over 10 pounds today. Right, torpedo. She took off? There, she there we go. Uh, fish, fish, fish. Uh, What's up? Sorry, yeah. sorry, I had to think about that. <laughs> Turn here. We're hooked up again. Again? Again. These fish are keeping us warm today, hey? We had a little bit of a lull, but this adrenaline is keeping us pretty warm. I haven't seen it yet, but by the way, it's fighting. It's, it's a big fish. Picture. Just take take your time. Oh, it's oh, a giant. Boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. oh my. Oh! Okay, Dan. I can't see it. Just inside. take your time. Back up just, a and you're good. Don't worry, don't worry. Just take your time. One. Yeah, that's okay. She's got it good though. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Dan, that's like a 13 or 14. It's a freak. Like I'm telling you, it's a freak, Dan. <laughs> All I can see is the head, and it looks like the body behind it. That's... The, yeah, there's a big one in this net right now. Oh, yeah. And it picked up another line. Right? Yeah. Wow. Oh. <gasps> what? What just happened? It ate a basketball. <laughs> Look at this thing. It ate a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> is this a dream? Wow. Look at the belly. Yeah. That's a freakazoid. Okay. <gasps> Holy. Holy. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So, we need to help hold that up. Oh! Hello. It's over 14. 14. Uh, 14-1. Uh, no, that's over 14-1. 14, 14. Oh, you're pushing me. 14. Here, you want to help me hold it? There we go. I'm struggling. I think it was 14-4. Yeah. Yeah. 14-4. Wow. That's a PB aboard the boat. Back in the well for a moment. Yeah. Getting a photo of this beast. 14 yeah, pounds. Get out of the sun. Four ounces. Yeah. You roll them down a bit. <laughs> Dan, can you lower them just a hair? Yeah. Ahead towards me. What a beauty. Okay, so Eric's hooking the fish up here to the sequelizer so we can send her back down to the depths where she came from. This is just as a precaution, just because this is a big old fish, so we yeah. could torpedo over the side. This fish isn't really showing any signs of barrel trauma. Um, you know, the air bladder is not sticking out or anything like that, so this is really purely just a precaution. Just make it as easy for her to get back down as possible. Yep. So she can live on and breed on. Alright. There she goes. I'll try to be steady here. Did you... The... Yeah, I was just gonna ask it's if you... Gone. Little sound. Did you put the kicker in neutral? It is. Okay. Oh, there she is starting to come down up here. She should pop any second. Okay, <clears throat> you're at almost at 60, so I think she's popped off already. You I see. see I see off? right there. Yeah. yeah. That's her. That's, That's her, her right there. Yep. Woohoo! She's heading down. You can see a bit of that curve right there where she's going down. Awesome. Dan, that's the biggest fish aboard Dreamcatcher. That's definitely my biggest walleye too. I should say, biggest walleye aboard Dreamcatcher, but so happy that you got it. Thank you. It's awesome. Good job, baby. 30. You see it? Nope. There's your leader. Baby compared to the one you just put. <laughs> oh, nice one, huh? Might even be a male. 
kind of hooked oddly, but. I see it. Not too bad after all. There. Okay, I'm just gonna toss this guy back right away. See what he's doing. Oh, oh, it is a male. Some tag him. <laughs> it's a male. No, he's milk. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, ready? Back you go. for checking out our adventure. It was certainly one of the most memorable days of walleye fishing that I've ever had. If you live in Southern Ontario, um, in February and March 2020, I will be doing seminars on trolling for walleye at the Barrie, London, and Hamilton boat fishing and outdoor shows. I will include a link below to all the show details, but if you're in the area, hopefully you can make it. It would be awesome to meet you. And thanks again for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, I always love to hear from you below. Uh, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned. I have another video on the way.